Ms. Kelly, there are some new developments tonight in an ongoing I-Team investigation into an immigration controversy involving an area businessman. 52-year-old Ricardo Santos out of the Hazleton area says he's caught up in an immigration nightmare. 2822 News I-Team reporter Andy Mahalshik has been working the story. Andy joins us live in the studio. Andy, what have we learned tonight? Well, good evening, Nick and Kenneth. Ricardo Santos and his attorney tell me that this situation, their dilemma, highlights the need for immigration reform. Santos insists he was trying to do the right thing and now he's stranded in Mexico. I really need to go back to my community, my business, my wife, my girls, my daughters, and also my kids at the elementary schools. Ricardo Santos says he is not giving up the fight to return to his home in the Hazleton area. He owns several Mexican food trucks and a Mexican restaurant. He traveled to the U.S. Embassy in Mexico in late June trying to obtain legal U.S. residency. He admits he entered the U.S. illegally in 1988 and 1999, but embassy officials refused to let him re-enter the country, claiming he violated U.S. immigration law. But Santos's attorney argues the embassy got it wrong. The bottom line is that, you know, these agencies make decisions and, you know, like any court or any other agency, there's, there's a process when they make incorrect decisions, right? This is why we have an entire appeal system in place, because sometimes the decisions aren't correct. Attorney Alexander Gontoryuk will file an appeal arguing that the U.S. Embassy misinterpreted immigration law and that Santos, despite entering the country illegally, can and should obtain legal residency. She also insists the Santos case highlights the need for immigration reform. We need reform, um, and the only way we can do that is to contact our representatives and let them know that we want reform. We want to have uh, hard working people like Mr. Santos um, who deserve to be here, um, be able to get that chance in a more uh, swift and efficient manner. And the community is rallying around Santos, who is known to give back to that community. In fact, he's handed out free lunches at area schools. Are you optimistic you might be able to return home soon? I'm very positive. I'm very hopeful. I always believe that everything is possible as long as you keep your mind set up and faith. Faith is more important. And Santos's lawyer says she may also file action in federal court seeking to reverse the decision by the U.S. Embassy. The IT has also confirmed that Senator Bob Casey and Congressman Matt Cartwright are aware of the situation and have made inquiries about it. You can see all of our IT reports on the Santos case on PAHomepage.com. Nick and Ken's back to you. More to come on that one for sure. Thanks, Andy.